Hey everyone, Gleb Bakhmutov here. I want to show you something that we have released in Cypress version 7.3.0, which I think is pretty exciting. So imagine a situation where we have API and that API returns different data every time you call it. In this case, the API call to favorite fruits returns different fruits or should return different fruits every 30 seconds when application asks on the interval. So how can you return a different fruit if you stop that API call from Cypress? Well, in Cypress version six and seven, when we introduced Cypress, you could write your own handler function, where if you use your own counter, you could say, well, if it's a first request, then reply with apples. If it's a second request, reply with grapes. And after that, always reply with Kiwi. So we can load our HTML page, which makes the first request automatically unload. And it gets the apples because it's the first request. Then we use synthetic clock by advancing it 30 seconds. And at that point, the grape should be displayed because the API should reply with grapes. And after that, it should reply with Kiwi. So this works. I can see that at first it contained the apples when the request was made again. I mean, this is the first request, but then the second request was made right here. So the grapes are displayed and then uh, the Kiwi is displayed after that. Great. But there's way too much code, right? So the new feature in the Sci intercept is the times parameter. So we can say here times one. So only a single time reply with apples. Okay. So this intercept will be used once and after that it will be gone. So we can copy it a couple of times. So then we want to reply with grapes and then with kiwi. Now the only thing here that you should watch out for is the order of intercepts. So we in uh, Cypress 7 switch the order so we can override intercepts. So you want to put the intercept you want to apply first as the last one. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, so first there were apples, then the grapes, then the kiwi. And notice that we want to always return kiwi after this so we can remove times so this always works after that as a stop with Kiwi. So we can actually test it by advancing the clock a couple more times and seeing what Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi is returned. So this is what I want to show you how to stop or intercept a network request, just given number of times and then forget about that intercept.